Hi everyone, it's Angela from Happy Dotting Company. Recently I've been making these little um, pendants here and I've been videoing along the way so I thought I'd share with you how I'm doing it. It's um, basically using, you know, if you have any leftover UltraCal 30 from making the art stones. Um, you'll see in the video that how I make that little um, sort of loop there in order to put a uh, jump hoop through is done with a particular little um, um, sorry little little sort of thing that you actually make earrings out of but I just wanted to add to that um, that it doesn't have to be that little thing in fact um, you could even use a, a little um, safety pin like this as long as you get that little uh, loop there so that you can put the jump hoop through or something like this this is a little um, thing that you would use to make an earring with and in fact I've got one here um, excuse me I've got one here which has actually got the end of uh, an earring as you can see I've painted one side and not the other um, so this is actually made with one of these so anyway I hope you like it I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I hope you might like to try it um, after you watch this video so please join us I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with these um, some leftover UltraCal that I've um, mixed up here I've poured some molds and I have a little bit left over so um, what you can see in my dish here are called tri drops and they're to make earrings so um, I've just laid them in a little um, paint palette here and I'm just going to pour a little bit of the UltraCal in here so I'm doing this one handed so just I'll try and um, not spill it here. Oh no, it's falling in. I'll get that out in a minute. Okay, so you can't do that one handed. So what I'm trying to do is just leave this little ring out so that these can basically um, become pendants So these are the um, little pendants that I was showing what to make with the leftover UltraCal 30 and it's been a couple of hours now so I was just going to flip these over and see how they turned out. I might see if I can just pull one up. Here we go. just uh, let them dry a little bit more now that they're out just taking that little bit of ultra curl 30 off there while it's still not set hard it's fine I'm just trying to do this one-handed I don't need two hands for that anyway um, I'll just let these dry a little bit more and then I'll, um, I'll probably just um, give that a light sand just around the edge there but it's really not too bad um, and paint it up and see how it looks
So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Um, you know, I've always got new things um, that I'm trying out and I'd like to share with you. So please subscribe. Bye.